That is crazy. Hi guys, I'm Will Devon and welcome to Inside Spider. In this episode, we will compare the substandard standard helmet there you go. and lastly, high priced helmet. <laughs> And there you go. Hmm. So now we will show you the difference between the substandard helmet, standard helmet, and the high price helmet. All right, so we're gonna talk about the price. For the substandard helmet, the range is more or less from 500 to 1,000 pesos for a substandard helmet. Now, standard helmet, the range from this can go anywhere from 2,000 pesos and up, but this particular model is about uh, 2,500 pesos. It's crazy because standard helmet, substandard helmet, just for a small price difference, a standard helmet can have, right? So on this one, high priced, um, usually high priced helmets go anywhere from about uh, 7,000 pesos and up, but this particular one is, it says right there, it is 9,250 pesos for a high price helmet. So now we're gonna get a chance to weigh these three helmets. First starting off with substandard helmet. All right, let's see how much this thing weighs. Got myself a digital weighing scale. This thing is so crazy like, like wow. It's like a parang laruan lang to, no joke. Uh, but yeah, let's try and weigh this. There we go. Okay, and it is uh, 0.9, so almost one kilogram. Super light. And then the next is the standard spider helmet. Uh, here we go. And this helmet weighs uh, 1.4. Uh, 1.4 kilograms. All right, light dinner. And lastly is the high price Baula helmet. <laughs> uh, and this helmet weighs, it's about 1.3. Kilograms, so yeah, there you go. More or less, um, these two, the standard helmets, weigh about the same. So, of course, the, the substandard helmet is much, much lighter. Different composites, they all have different composites, more or less, but yeah, the density is really, really important. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of a testing for how much these helmets weigh. There's your comparison. The outer shell of this substandard helmet is actually made out of hard plastic. But wait, hard plastic? Kala mo naman na ibig sabihin matibay or solid, pero hindi. Kasi mamaya magkita natin ang hammer test. We're gonna be smashing this. And Hulk, smash. As you can see, it's bendable, deformable as well too. It's called the bend and snap. Also, sometimes it's made out of a really low-grade plastic. Ilang yun, if there's extreme temperatures or hot, madideform din yung plastic nito. Some people are worth melting for. And now moving on to the standard helmet. The outer shell of this spider helmet is actually made out of premium grade, non-recycled plastic. As you can see, it doesn't move or bend as easily. It feels solid. It's quite dense. So what is ABS? ABS is derived from acrylonitrile, butadiene, and styrene. ABS is highly resistant, making it the material of choice to be used for premium grade helmets. All right, so for the high priced helmet, this is made out of a high resistance thermoplastic resin. Thermoplastic resins have superior impact and also protection and durability. So you can see that both of these helmets, the high price and the standard, both have 
safety stickers right on the back. And ibig sabihin nito that they both have passed certain standard specification and tests for quality and safety. Be sure to check the back of your helmet to make sure you have the safety stickers. And now we're going to talk about visors. Substandard helmets are actually quite delicate and are easily scratched and blurred. Uh, this particular one here, um, let's try. Wow, look at that. So I'm doing it with one finger, only one finger. Actually, nakalagay naman anti-scratch, um, which could be possible naman, but this particular plastic is not the one that's made for UV. Magita naman ng mga smudges here. And uh, that could be a problem because you want to have the best uh, sense of vision on the road. We are now moving on to the spider helmet. Now this visor is made out of polycarbonate and it is also 100% UV protected. Of course that will make you have better vision on the road. Wala namang masyadong distortion. Clear as day and you will have a better and freer, smoother ride because your sense of view is just clear and perfect. Do you see the light? Have you seen the light? All right, for the high priced helmet naman, uh, more or less naman, it is exactly the same and you'll always be clear and see whatever is in front of you on the road. And now it's time for the fun stuff. Now we are going to be doing some hammer testing on the substandard, standard and the high priced helmets. But of course, before we get into that, we need our uh, protective gear. So. To start with, I have my Spider Protect, protective eyewear. I have a friend of mine, Mystery Rider, that is gonna come into the screen as well too. Mystery, whoa, whoa. Easy galang, huh? He's ready to take on the streets and he's ready to smash some things to pieces. First one we're gonna smash is the substandard. Uh, I'm excited to see this. Don't buy a lot. So yeah, three, two, one. Oh! Oh! That is crazy. <laughs> that is that is not even that's no joke. Isang blow lang yan. Basag lahat, parang watermelon nga. As in effortless, hindi naman effortless pero solid naman yung blow pero kahit na that's wow. Hey. Substandard. That's just Okay, so we got a chance to see what exactly happens. Kung nag sledgehammer yung substandard na helmet. Ngayon naman, standard helmet. I'm excited. Sige. On the count of three. Three, two, one. Oh. Look at that. Galing naman. Pwede ka pa suutin to ah. <laughs> Solid. Look at that. Look at that. Dense. That is very impressive. Standard helmet compared to substandard helmet. Sobrang light. But look at that. Sledgehammer still cracked it. It's a solid imprint. Safe nonetheless. So you were protected clearly with a standard helmet. Tignan natin kung kaya ang 9,250 peso high-end, high-priced helmet. I'm excited about this again. Grabe naman, no? Sayang. Pero, ganun talaga. Put my uh, protective glasses on again. Three, two, one. Oh! Solid! Oh, tumama talaga dito. Pero tignan mo. No, wala yung, oh man, yeah, this piece fell off. That's it. So far, right here. He hit right here on the side. 9,250 pesos. That's really impressive. And then, this is the only thing. This one broke off a little bit. That's gone. Little piece on the top. Hey. All right, so I am here. Clearly, naman, nakita nyo na may helmet ako, may gloves ako. Well, in short, niingit ako kay kuya. Di ba ako contento eh? So, 
On that note, ako matatry. Kuya. My hammer. Mjolnir, I called it. It's quite unique. It was made from this special metal from the heart of a dying star. Every time I threw it, it would always come back to me. I could harness lightning, make energy blasts. And when I spun it really, really fast, it gave me the ability to fly. Kondi lang naman. Not bad, not bad. Okay pa rin. The shell is solid. Pero yung loob, uh, it's a little bit of damage. But still, hindi ba din? Ang gagawin ngayon, hahaitiin natin ang gitna, ang standard and high-priced helmets. Hindi naman siguro kailangan ma-demo kung ano mangyayari dito. If Kuya slices this in half, we can just actually put this on the floor now. These two are the opponents of each other, if you will, but a friendly matchup. So you can see that the materials used in substandard, which was the one there on the floor, helmets are ordinary styrofoam, plastic shell, and so ito lang, um, poor quality fabric also inside. Substandard helmets have soft thin liner without elasticity, while standard and high price helmets are always equipped with elastic liner with good bearing capacity. So in short, this will save your life. All right, here we go guys. Oh yeah. All right, so we are back. In the man, we're gonna check out exactly what happened. I'll move this to the side. We're gonna start first with the sub-standard helmet. Tignan nyo naman, in all honesty, pati yung liner, hindi talaga maganda. And we didn't notice this before. May tape talaga. <laughs> it's the reason why it's holding it together. Kung walang tape, it would've even fallen apart even more so. Like, look at this uh, styrofoam. It's very ordinary. Para siyang pang packaging lang. It really easily is brittle. But it's crumble just with using my fingers. If you have friends or my family members that are using this, please show them this video. I'm going to go with the spider helmet. Now open this up. For me, I think this did an incredible job with the sledgehammer. If you can see it, it has a dent from the first, the first palo. It's still alive. Still be able to make it back to your family. But it's substandard. It's in the sky. For the lining inside, of course, with the substandard, let me go back to that. You can't even take out the lining. So, mababaho din yan. Ew. Then, mind, you can take out the lining, you can wash it, you can clean it, so you're always fresh. <laughs> and even when I get a chance to hit it, maybe like scratches, but the only one that really had an effect was the first one. This is the spider helmet, standard quality. And lastly, we're gonna go to the high-end, expensive baller uh, helmet. Did a great job as well too, of course. Uh, a little bit of a scratch here on top. I'll open it up for you guys too, so you can see. But yeah, the, what I did notice too is the, the density of this styrofoam compared to the spider. The density of this is actually a little bit softer. Uh, if you notice, it looks like styrofoam, but if you compare it to the spider, it's really like. Sobrang kapal ng foam nito. So more or less, they're pretty much the same. Considering that this is 2,500, the spider, and this is 9,250. 
I, d I definitely go with, well, either one of them, of course, but if you want to save some money, you want to be practical, this right here is definitely a best bet. Let's see how thick the plastics are. Let me start with the substandard. This is a carbon fiber composite digital caliper. So we're going to measure the thickness of each of these helmets by using this. So let me bring it back to zero. It's in zero. Let's see. How thick is the sub standard? 3.1. 3.1 thickness. That's millimeters, by the way. Spider, 4.4. High priced helmet. Let's see. And it is 3.9. So, very, very similar. And the pansin ko rin yung kulay ng plastic. Both of them are exactly the same. White. So it's like a black, almost looks like a Tupperware type of kitchen plastic ang ginamit nila, honestly. That is just unacceptable. Ito na! Tignan nyo ang quality ng mga helmets. Sobrang importante ang quality ng helmet nyo. Please stick to a helmet that can bring you home, that will keep you safe. There you go, that is it for Inside Spider. Visit the nearest Spider store and try as many models as you like, in terms of design, fit, comfort, and also looks. Do not forget to like and follow our Facebook page, Instagram, and also Twitter. See the links below, right here, right here. And also, if you want to shop online, visit our website at www.teamspider.com. Or, of course, you can also check out Lazada. Uh, just click on this link below as well, too. For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Spider Philippines. So, guys, this is Will Devon. Please do follow my motorcycle adventures on Instagram. You can check it out right here. Uh, hopefully, one day, I'm going to ride this I hope to see you again on Inside Spider, maraming maraming salamat for watching. Thank you for the support and uh, once again, right safe.